The first sortie of the day went very well overall. All of the IL-2s we were escorting made it back to Vlasinovo in one piece. One pilot in our flight, Sergi, was wounded. He was rushed to a hospital in Moscow and is expected to recover rather soon. Due to Sergi's wound, I would be taking his place for the next mission later this afternoon. Six of us were tasked with going up and escorting a flight of Peshkas. Their target for today is troop concentrations in Mosaic, not very far behind enemy lines. Let's hope this one goes smoothly. Hello everybody, Wolf back here, and welcome to another exciting episode in our Battle of Moscow career. Today we are escorting fellow Peshkas, which should be somewhere up there. I'm not exactly sure which direction they are approaching from. They should be dropping flares, but anyway, me and a flight of six MiG-3s, we will be escorting Peshkas over towards Mazaysk here, which should seem familiar, especially if you have been watching the IL-2 tank crew Volokolamsk Highway series, so that is pretty cool. Anyway, let's get our MiG-3 ready for takeoff. We're facing right into the sun, so that is just lovely. Uh, it really is. Looks like number one is rolling. Still have no idea where those Peshkas are. I'm sure we will find them soon, but let's throttle up. And we are taking off. Keep our aircraft nice and steady. Looking good, looking good. Quite a bit of wind today, once again. Of course, it's the same day as uh, the previous mission. This is the, this is just the second sortie of the day. It's November 8th, 1941. It's around 1430. Okay, gear up. Try to keep tally of our flight leader here as he flies into the sun. Open up our canopy. And turn off our lights. Still, I... Uh, Still no idea where those uh, friendly bombers are. They may be obstructed by the clouds. That is entirely possible. The uh, cloud deck is still fairly low. Oh, there they are. Right there. Look at that. That's quite a few. a pretty large formation of PE2, so that is pretty cool. Well, hopefully we will be able to bring them all back home once again. Anyway, looks like we're just going to climb up to their altitude and uh, escort them all the way towards Mazais. Of course, I will let you know whenever we encounter some trouble. Well, we have just passed into enemy territory at this point. That's Dorohovo right there underneath us. And that town is pretty contested at this point. It looks like it's right at the brink there. The Germans are pushing towards it. And fighters southeast range seven kilometers. Look at that timing. <laughs> uh, I'm going to stick with the bombers until those enemy fighters get a little bit closer. Let's see, our Peshkas were below us southeast. They're back over here somewhere, huh? Okay, yep, I see them. Got quite a few aircraft there. All right, let's throttle up and let's start boosting. I did ask y'all about uh, Techno Chat, the little stuff on the side, and the majority of people said they prefer it there as it gives them a good idea of what I'm actually doing, like what controls I'm manipulating and whatnot, so... Um, with that in mind, I will keep them on. It's the same reason I really keep the uh, map icons on in Silent Hunter. It's just a more enjoyable experience for you all, so I'll keep them. Okay, yep, flight of 109s right down below me. All right, let's roll on in. Let's try to get one of them real fast. It looks like only three or four. I only have visual on three. One MiG just made a pass. Okay, we are going to stick on this one. It looks like he's going for the Peshkas. Let's 
close up our radiator just a little bit and get as much speed out of this aircraft as possible. And dive towards the target before... Uh, he's probably going to get his rounds off on the Peshkos. It's our airspeed, 500 kilometers per hour. And MiGs diving in. Our controls are starting to lock up a little bit. We're going five... Ooh, was he... Oh, no. You got a Peshka. One Peshka is going down there. Come on. Should be able to catch this guy. Gaining on him. Yeah, I blew off something there. I think an aileron, maybe? Come on. Okay, quite a few good hits into that BF-109. Looks like he's getting shot at by Peshka Gunners, possibly. Let's finish him off. We did see him take out a Peshka, so... Looks like that 109, I can't tell if that's exhaust or if he's actually having engine issues. Our engine's having issues. Let's open up our radiator. I think that 109 is possibly going down. Open up our canopy. I really need to... <laughs> I'm getting rusty on gunnery once again. I've been playing a lot of IL-2 tank crew, as some of you may have noticed, so... There we go. That 109 is, is down. Didn't see an explosion, but he's done for. Okay, there's all the flak behind us. Let's go back and uh, find our Peshkas, make sure they're all okay. Whichever ones are left at this point. Looks like two MiGs are on the tail of a 109. Looks like for the second mission in a row, we have outnumbered the enemy. I can't tell if that is a 109 from this, this angle here. I think it actually may be. Close the canopy. Come on. There we go. Where, where are the bombers, though? That's... Oh, that's more 109s here. I have a 109 here. Busted radiator. 109 is not going to last long with a radiator like that. There's the bombers. There's a flight of bombers. Let's go back over there. We have a job to do. Although, we can tap this BF-109 real fast. Hello there. Got a few hits there. The bombers are under attack. Okay, let's go get them. Okay, we have arrived on station. There's a Peshka getting torn up. Yep, there's a 109. We're going in for him. 
He is firing at a MIG, actually. Oh, no, that's a MIG shooting at a 109. I'm kind of worried to go into this formation of Peshkas. It looks like another Peshka has quite a lot of engine trouble there. Uh, these guys got torn up a bit here. Looks like this 109 may be trying to line up a shot. Got a few hits on the 109 there. Let's break off. He is still functioning though. Jeez. These BBs don't do a whole lot, do they? Okay. Dive back in on him. Uh, that Peshka is going evasive. Quite a few more hits into that 109. He hasn't been able to fire any more at the Peshka, so that's a good thing. Let's see, that's another one going in on a Peshka. Jeez. Okay, there's a lot more 109s out here than I originally thought. It's another one. Ooh. Flight lead there is getting torn up. 109's breaking. Another 109 coming in with a MIG on a 6. Oh boy. How many Peshkas are here? Two, four, six. We've lost three. And one is in very critical condition there. Okay, we're gonna linger up here. There's more 109s back there, but I have to remember are the Peshkas are the primary goal. Get them over the front lines. Okay, that little town over there is along our flight path and it is in friendly territory. I think our bombers are in the clear. I'm going to turn back around and see what is going on. It's like all the 109s are off the bombers. They're tangled up with more MiGs. And we're just going to check this out and see. Um, that's a uh, MiG on a 109. Get them. Okay, the 109 is leaking coolant. Good stuff. 109 is... Uh, God, there is a... The tracer fired by the bombers. I turn away for one second and they're back. Okay, we'll head back over there. I think this 109 may be heading towards the bombers as well. Okay, continue heading towards the bombers. Where are they? There they are. Got that 109 to break away. Don't know if I killed them, but let's see what's going on. There's something diving in rather quickly. I don't see that. I don't see that enemy 109. That's obviously a 109 shooting at a Peshka. And I can't tell what this is right on top of my gun sight, if that is a friendly MiG-3 or another Hun. That's a MiG-3 there. Okay, looks like we're all regrouping. I'm surprised that flight leader is still flying uh, with this Peshka in the state it is currently in. I kind of want to investigate and see how it is. I guess I shouldn't be all that surprised. It is a very tough aircraft. 
That's a 109 up there, flying high, leaking fuel. Being shot at by a MiG. Come in and support our comrade. Get him. Need to lead your target a little bit more there, pal. Still lots of sporadic anti-aircraft fire going off around here. It means there's 109s. We're almost certainly behind uh, Russian lines at this point. So all the anti-aircraft fire we're seeing is friendly. Looks like whatever was diving on the Peshkas is now broken off and it's not going to attempt to re-engage here. Well, I'm looking at this group of Peshkas and I was wondering what happened to the one that was streaming and everything. Uh, it looks like he has dropped out of formation. So I'm not sure where he went off to because there's only five left and there were six. That's a MiG. I almost had a mini heart attack there. All the enemy aircraft seem to be relatively far away. Uh, we're going to make sure these... Uh, Remaining five Peshkas make it all the way back home without being attacked again. We should be getting pretty close to our home airfields, though. I expect uh, I expect to see uh, Vlasinovo fairly soon. I'm not sure which airfield these guys actually go to. Oh, it looks like we do drop them off at Vlasinovo. So they take off there along with the IL-2s. Very interesting. Anyway, that was very uh, action-packed for sure. Well, we'll stick with the Peshkas and make sure they make it all the way home. Well, the ones that are left now, anyway. Well, here we are. We have made it all the way back to Vlasyanovo, and there seems to be more navigation lights. Five, six, seven? There's quite a few. There's quite a bit going on here. I wonder what else is landing. Also, it looks like there's a Peshka that is uh, leaking all sorts of stuff. He's made it into the pattern, so he made it home as well, even though he did drop out of formation. I'm guessing that was the leader. That's pretty darn cool. Oh, yeah, that's a Peshka landing. Yeah, there's quite a few of them made it back. More than I expected. I thought they took quite a few losses there. Well, very cool indeed to see them all get here let's see what are they yeah that's a that's a peshka that's a mig landing as well so there may be migs based out of this airfield that are uh working on landing as well okay that makes more sense so not every pair of landing lights is indeed one of our bombers we were escorting but that's all right whoa hello there <laughs> And we'll fly by. There we go. Look at this guy. Gear dropped. Okay, I'm probably uh, causing all sorts of issues <laughs> for them. So we're going to just turn this way. Our airfield should be right there. Perfect. And go ahead and line up on the runway as well. Another successful escort mission for the most part. It would be cool to see exactly how many uh, Peshkas did go down, but like I said, I think six of them survived, so one third of them ended up going down. Anyway. Okay, and where's the airfield? There it is. I just lost it for a second. Classic. Okay. We'll get ourselves situated here. For our landing, we're going a little bit fast, 300 kilometers per hour. Turn on our lights. Nice and easy. All right, gear down. Start dropping flaps. 
increase the flat lim limiter once that whenever the, it's at a hundred I'll, I'll drop them when we need them here signed objective completed that's good to know okay we're getting a flare i will launch one for the airfield okay drop flaps All right, now we're killing speed pretty well. Down to 200 kilometers per hour. And we'll come in for a nice and smooth landing. Can't, hard to see over this big, big nose the MiG-3 has here, but we'll make do. Okay. And, ooh, that was not good. Oh boy. <laughs> That was one of my worst ones yet, I think. That's all right. We're still down, didn't smash anything. Definitely a little bit rusty. Okay, but we are down, look at that. Okay, well I'm gonna taxi off and of course you all know the drill. I will see you all on the debrief. All right, here we go, mission accomplished. 34 minutes and seven seconds, and we managed to shoot down two BF-109s, which is quite good. Let's take a look at the event log. We can see we took off quite a lot of action happened over the target area. Oh, one friendly PE-2 was destroyed. BF-109, these are the two I destroyed. Yep, um, some targets were bombed. Guess we were bombing uh, factory facilities, okay. Over here, F4 destroyed. Another Peshka went down way over here, pretty close. So it looks like only two Peshkas went down. So uh, I guess only um, seven, seven made it back home instead of the six I originally thought. So that is good, good overall. Well, let's go ahead and finish the mission. And let's see how our personal flight did. Hopefully everyone's still alive. That was quite a brutal uh, engagement. I tried to stay with the bombers as much as I could instead of going out glory hunting. Uh, let's see, 2,000 rubles. And everyone made it back. Everyone was alive. Okay, that was a solid mission then. Once again, two very well done escort missions in a row. So pretty happy with that. Well, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it does really help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I'll see you all on the next one.